Welcome back to Shot Tech's shooting series with the shot doctor, Jack Johnson. Before we jump into the three-step shot, it is important to remember that each of the three drills is a technical element designed to isolate a specific area of the jump shot. It is not intended to be your actual jump shot. With that being said, let's jump into the first drill. The wrist flick drill is going to focus on your wrist and follow through. Using the ball to measure, stand directly under the basket and then take one step back. If your court has volleyball lines, your heels will typically be standing on the line. Stand so your shooting foot is directly in line with the middle of the rim. If you're following our previous videos, the rest of your body should naturally line up on the shot line. We now want to isolate our wrist and index finger. For this drill, we want our legs and arms to be as straight as possible. With our wrist loaded, hand wide, and index finger on the inflation hole, as learned in holding the basketball, we're ready to begin the drill. Check your shooting triangle and repeat the process. Take your time with each shot, focusing on mastering each of the techniques. If power is an issue, a small knee bend can be used, but if possible, keep them straight, relying solely on the drive from your toes. This is a great drill to use to make sure that the ball is flying true and straight. The second drill in our three-step shot will be the application of the L to L shot mechanic. If you haven't seen our explanation of L to L, click here, watch a short video, and then jump on back. Standing in drill number one, take one large step back. You should typically be around eight to nine feet from the basket. Double check as we did in drill one that your shooting foot is splitting the middle of the rim and the rest of your body is in line with the shot line. Using the principles of L to L, start by making your first L and then drive your elbow up into the second L. Now take a moment to check to make sure you have ended correctly in the finished position of L to L. If correct, begin your shot. If not, start over and repeat the L to L. Drive your toes in the ground just as you did in drill number one. Make sure you're fully extending your elbow straight to the ceiling before your wrist completes the follow through. Hold your follow through just like in drill one, taking note of your shooting triangle and index finger. This is a great drill to create and check lift on the ball. The final drill in our three-step shot process will focus on linking our lower body and upper body together. Oftentimes, shot inconsistencies are created when the lower body and upper body are not linked and flowing together. Standing in drill number two, take one large step back. This should place you about 12 to 13 feet from the basket. Double check, just as we did in drills one and two, that your shooting foot is splitting the middle of the rim and the rest of your body is in line with the shot line. Begin the drill by squatting down, holding your arm in the first L position. Focus on your weight staying back on your heels, just like if you were squatting in the weight room. A good way to double check this is to wiggle your toes. If you cannot wiggle your toes after squatting, you're too far forward and will activate your calf muscles too early in the jump shot. While staying squatted, drive your elbow into the second L. Check to make sure your second L position is lined up with your shot line. If everything is correct, begin your shot. Driving from the ground, your knees and your elbows should be straightening together, and just like in drill two, before you finish your wrist, make sure your elbow has fully extended to the ceiling, just like the previous two drills. Hold your follow through to check your shooting triangle and index finger. As you do this drill, focusing on pace will help to create the beginnings of your rhythm and timing in the actual jump shot. Your pace should be down, up, shot. Remember, if you found this video to be useful, like or share it, and if you have any thoughts or questions, drop a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we continue to release more drills in the future.